welcome, you're welcome to the channel. Now, I, I need to take you down to project holistically. Now, construction can be a bit tasky. Have you ever thought of constructing in where you are restricted? This is a government reserve area. So, uh, this project is actually a construction at a government reserve area that, have, that has some limitations on the height you can go. So, the architect did his own work, and you see, the architect actually did the designs and the, the aesthetical designs and all. So, and they, they sometimes cause problems for the engineers, like me. So, you know, where, the, where is the problem lying? Now, because the government has restricted the height of building here, we have to excavate down and provide a basement. Can I take you down to the project? Now, this is how it was before. Are you seeing it? So let's go now. So we decided to go about 2.8 meters lower in order to establish a basement. And it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. Now, that excavation was that to some places 2.9 and some places 3 meters. Now, let me take you down to the place. Now, we are able to excavate and we didn't know, we didn't know such amount of time. One of the challenges we faced, the number one challenge was where did we move the earth to? You can see the earth material right there, you can see it deep down there. So, where did we move the earth materials to? It was a challenge on its own. Now, and the machine type. The second one, which machine are we going to use? Can I amaze you? At this project alone, I have used more than four machines. The first one I brought was a, 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 no, a pen loader. It couldn't do the work because of the nature of the soil. The nature of the soil is a very weak soil, and you can see water coming out of the soil. The seepage problem here, you can see, and makes the work very difficult. Now, now what do we do? We have to use, we, we first use um, a bulldozer, and uh, we will certainly use a bulldozer, and all that. We even have to finally use an excavator to get that depth of 2.8, 2.9 at some point. That place was about 2.8, this place was about 2.9. We have to go down, and then beyond that, we didn't see how to dig because the only foundation type that was suitable for this kind of soil was a rough foundation. So we had to go another depth, down about 1.4 meters, you can see the two trenches, 1.4 meters, it's no joke, it's no joke to go about 1.4 down again and you can see the nature of the material. So these are the excavations of the excavation of the trenches. Now how do you move the earth material? Those are challenges in project management. You know when you take it to an architect, they will design a beautiful work for you, but they might not know the challenges involved in implementing it. Hey friends, I think the architect needs to work more with the engineers. It's a good time that we bond, we bond, we bond the more. It's not just the aesthetics. There is a need for us to reconcile what is obtainable and what is on paper. I want to celebrate all the architects and the engineers. So we, we, I, 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 can just, I can just share with you more and more and more. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.